Welcome, let's discuss the scaling principle. Let's start by defining similar figures. Two figures are said to be similar if their sides are in proportion. Let's consider the two cylinders on the left-hand side. Let's compare the height of both of those cylinders. On the cylinder on top, the height is equivalent to 8, and on the bottom, the height is equivalent to 4. Knowing this information, we can try to find out if we have some kind of a scale factor. To start with the cylinder on top and end up with the cylinder on the bottom, we can define the scale factor by obtaining the height of one figure and divided by the height of the other figure. We are comparing the same characteristics between two figures. So we will have 4 over 8, which is equivalent to 1 half. Just by comparing both heights, it's not sufficient to define the scale factor. We have to confirm it. Well, let's see if we obtain the same value when we compare the radius of the upper cylinder with the radius of the lower cylinder. Let's see what we get when we divide 2.5 over 5. We are comparing both radiuses. And when we do, notice that this is also 1 half. When we compared both heights of this cylinder, we obtain a ratio of one half. And when we compared both radiuses of the cylinders, we also got one half. Then we can determine that the sides of these figures are in proportion, and we can conclude that we have similar figures. With the scale factor of one half. Now let's concentrate on the two pyramids on the right-hand side. Let's try to determine if both pyramids have a scale factor. Let's start by comparing the height of the pyramid on top with the height of the pyramid on the bottom. The height is 9 on top, and the height is 3 on the bottom. So one possible scale factor will be of 3 divided by 9, which is equivalent to 1 third. Now let's just compare another sides of these two pyramids and see if we also get 1 third when we're looking for a proportion. Notice that on the pyramid on the top, one side of the base is of a value of 8, and the same side in the other pyramid, it holds a value of 5. Let me move this information a little bit to the bottom. Notice that when we compare those two sides, if we get 5 and we divide it by 8, that is not equivalent to the scale factor that we got when we were comparing the height of those pyramids. Because these two values do not match up, then we will conclude that these two pyramids are not in proportion. Therefore, these two figures are not similar figures. Now let's discuss one application, the scale factor. So here we have two cylinders, which we already shown that there are similar figures. And in addition, we have shown that when we compare the height of both cylinders and when we compare the radius of both cylinders, we obtain a scale factor of a value of one half. One way to make sense, notice that eight, if we multiply by one half, we obtain four, and five, if we multiply by one half, we obtain 2.5. And now let's say that we have more information on the cylinder on the left. We know that the perimeter of this cylinder has a value of 10 centimeters. And just knowing the scale factor, can we define the perimeter on the cylinder on the right? And we can, because if we obtain the perimeter on the cylinder on the left, and we multiply by the scale factor, which is one half, that is going to give us the perimeter of the similar figure, which is the cylinder on the right. So if we get 10 and we multiply times one half, we will obtain 5 centimeters. If two figures are similar and they have a scale factor, then we can obtain the perimeter of one figure, multiply it on the scale factor, and obtain the perimeter of the second figure. But how about the area? Let's say that we know that the area on the cylinder on the left should be of 408 centimeters square. Do we have enough information to find the area of the cylinder on the right? We can use the scale factor. But now, we're not going to multiply times one half. Notice that the units of areas are always given in square. 
So to obtain the area of a similar figure, we will get the scale factor where? So if we get 408, which is the area on the figure on the left, and we multiply it times one half, where we will obtain the area on the figure in right centimeters square. In the last scenario, it's about volume. So let's say that we know that the volume on the cylinder on the left to be of 628 centimeters cubed. Do we have enough information to define the volume on the cylinder on the right? So when it comes to volume, the units are always represented in cube. One way to obtain the volume on the cylinder on the right is to get the scale factor and raise it to the third. If we get the volume on the left and we multiply by the scale factor raise to the third, we will define the volume of the similar figure. And when we multiply those values, that is equivalent to 78.5 centimeters cubed. So notice how we can use the scale factor between two similar figures. By knowing the perimeter one figure, we can define the perimeter of the similar figure by multiplying by the scale factor. If we know the area of one figure, we can define the area of the similar figure by multiplying by the scale factor square. And if we know the volume of one figure, we can obtain the volume of the similar figure by multiplying by the scale factor to the third. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 